Happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. Oh, it's just the best day. It's the first day of the weekend. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So today in my video tutorial, I am going to share with you how to make an envelope pouch, gift pouch, an envelope gift pouch. Anyways, and I am using the cutest Halloween sweet, which I just love. <laughs> of course, I am an October baby, so anything October. But before we get started, I want to uh, let you know who I am if this is your first time joining me. And if it is, welcome. We love to have everyone here. My name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to uh, help card makers by sharing art design, art design tips on my card tutorials. Okay, um, also uh, I wanna remind you, we are in the celebration, this big event Stampin' Up! is doing, and in that celebration, besides just spending the $50 and getting the free gift or the free uh, item, we're having a huge joining special right now. And um, just real quick, the joining special is only $99, and that is uh, $125 of your choosing for your starter kit, a paper pumpkin kit, free shipping, and this month and next month, so August and September, they're also including a free bundle. And one of those bundles is $60. So that's another $60 in savings. Wow, it's a great time to join Stampin' Up! And if you want any more information about it, about all the things that you need to know, uh, just reach out to me and I'll help you with that. Okay, let's get on with making an envelope pouch. Let me switch over here. Okay, uh, our supplies. So I am using a new DSP or a, one of the DSPs that are free with the $50 purchase. Have you all seen this black and white? Oh, let me take that off of there so you can see better. Okay, here it is. It's the black and white beautifully penned uh, designer paper. You get four sheets, 12 by 12, of the three double-sided designs. So you get four of these, four and four, um, and double-sided and they're 12 by 12 black and white and it coordinates with the sweet hand penned i mean <laughs> it's just i love it when everything matches it's so cool so that's the uh, paper that i'm going to be using what else am i going to be using um i need a scoring tool you're definitely going to need a scoring tool for this project <clears throat> if you have our uh, trim and score thing this works great if you don't have this um uh, you may have the scoring uh, tool that's a, a whole bunch of places you can score on one flat thing. Uh, but anyways, you do need a scoring tool. Okay, um, what else am I using? Oh, I'm using some Velcro dots. So this is a pouch that you can use, you know, open and close over and over again without a bow. And these little Velcro dots are great. They're double, they're sticky, um, adhe self-adhesive. So you just put them on there and they're light. They're not such a strong Velcro that you like you can't open it and you rip the paper. It's a light Velcro. I don't know, but anyways. Um, if you cannot find these in your craft store, um, I do have a link to the ones in the in my Amazon affiliate links, okay? So just go to must-have tools on my blog and you'll find that. Oh, by the way, my blog, there's my blog. And what else do we need? Okay, we're using the cutest Halloween stamp set. I love this thing, it's so fun. And the cutest Halloween paper. Oh, I forgot to pull that, hold on. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, almost lost my scoring tool, hold on, there we go. This cutest Halloween paper. Oh my heaven. So I'm cute using the haunted houses today. All right, so we've got all that. Got that. Oh, and you need the punch. I'm also using these two colors, uh, the Smoky Slate and the Mango uh, Melody. Okay, so it's a very light pale, not pale orange, but a light orange. Okay, so that are the, the supplies we're using. Let's get started on creating this pouch. Now, I've made a template so you can understand better what I am talking about. All right, and I have it here. I know it's sideways, but it fits in the screen best that way. Oh, I forgot to put on my comments. Oh, silly me. Let's see who's with us today. All right, well, while that's loading the comments, we have a 12 by six. So cut your 12 by 12 in half, a 12 by six. And you are going to score 
all the way one inch from the long side on both sides. So one inch on this side and one inch on this side. And then you're gonna go over here, you're gonna go four inches and then you're gonna go nine inches or if you'd rather you can say five inches from here to here, but four inches and then nine inches. And this side over here, this larger side, this is the bottom part of the pouch. This holds the candies, the treat, whatever. This side over here, the smaller flap is for the top closing flap, all right? Now, once you've got it all scored, you're gonna wanna do some cutting. I'm gonna turn this so you can see better. You're gonna cut this rectangle off and then snip that little corner there. Okay, and that just helps when you fold this in, that edge doesn't uh, interfere with the fold there. Okay, so that's why we tri trim it off. But you're cutting this part out. All right. And that's all you need to know. All right, so let's do this. Let me get my scoring tool out and my designer paper. And like I said, this is from the beautifully penned free DSP. Is Doesn't that make great Halloween paper? I love it. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is score at an inch. Okay, so I've got my inch right there. Line her up, get my scoring blade out. And that's this lighter one. And don't press down too hard because designer paper, you could tear it. Even though it's a scoring tool, um, you don't wanna press down so hard that you tear it. All right, now let's turn it over and do an inch on the other side. There's all my names. Hey, good morning, Lisa and Deb and Trish. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see all of you this morning. Now, we're going to go to the four inch. Okay. And then I, what I love about our scoring tool, this handlebar comes out and I can go all the way to nine inches over here. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So we've done all of our scoring. Now, let's fold all of the score lines in. Okay. And over here. All right, so now we have all our score lines in. We need our snips. Let's grab our snips. <clears throat> Linda says, hello from Idaho. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, I found that showing you all the template was much easier now uh, than trying to explain everything. Uh, I want to make sure I cut the right part off. Okay, so there's my score line. There's my score line. And so I want to cut this one off, not this one. I want to cut this bigger one off, okay? And you just go along the score line there. I know it's kind of hard to see on film, but when you're doing it yourself, you'll see your score line just fine. Oops and then cut off this little corner. Whoops, let's do it the correct direction. Okay, and it doesn't matter how big, just so, just so that when you fold it over, it doesn't get in the way of that score line. Okay, and let's cut this one off. And if you feel confident enough not uh, just to go ahead and cut the angle as you come down here, that works also. <laughs> okay, so now we have these two flaps and this folds over and this is our piece. Uh-oh. Oh well, I did do it wrong, darn it. The, the smaller part is not supposed to have the sides, but that's okay. Oh, silly me, silly me. All right, uh, emergency correction, no biggies, <laughs> no biggies. Go ahead and cut both corners off. It doesn't matter. Um, I just hate when I do mess ups and I had already made one. So yeah, I already had one made and then I still make a mistake, but that's okay. So we don't want that to be our pouch. This is our flap. It's too small for a pouch, okay? We want this side to be our pouch. All right, and it really doesn't matter because we can just adhere it here and then it still comes out. What would have, if you left these on here, hold on, if I had left these on here, I can't believe I made this mistake. What it would do was create um, more to open, that's all. Okay, can y'all see that? It would just leave more to open. Let me show you in this one. 
Uh, so I gotta fix my template before I put it on my uh, blog. You all, um, when you go to my blog later and I have all the pictures up, I'm gonna redo my template so you have the correct size cut off. But I want you to see how much more of a pouch you can get when you leave um, the flap, the one inch, and just connect the two one inches together. But anyways, all right, we got it here. I mean, this works, it's just not gonna open as much. Bah. Don't y'all love it when I make mistakes? <laughs> then you all can see if you make your mistake what to do, right? That's what people tell me all the time. <laughs> Just, ah. All right, um, here we go. Uh, where are we? <laughs> My steps here. We scored on one inch, we scored on the four and the nine, then we cut the corners, even though I cut the wrong ones, uh, and we folded on the four inch score mark and adhered the flaps together. All right, so we're gonna adhere these together. And like I said, um, oh, here's another mistake you could make. You don't wanna make this mistake. Don't get adhesive up here, okay? Because nothing, you, when you close that, it did stick and you don't want that. So make sure you do not put adhesive up there. In other words, you want to put adhesive down here and I'm just gonna go ahead and run that, okay? side okay and then just bring that up and fold okay so there's my pouch like I said it's not quite as much as the other pouch but it's still a good size pouch and now that'll flip down and seal to make the envelope gift pouch all right next is um we're going to create a decorative top now this is the decorative top uh, for this one, but we're going to make it more for our Halloween. And what I did is I cut the DSP, but it was too flimsy, okay? And for for a to, to hold an envelope and to be opening and closing. So I want to make it a little more secure, a little more sturdy. And you'll want liquid glue for this. And so I'm just going to put liquid glue here, and this will just give it a little strength, this cardboard in the back, okay? Cardboard. Did I say cardboard? Cardstock. Silly me. <laughs> okay, and now we just put this on here. And of course, liquid glue is great because it allows you to kind of move it so it'll get just exactly on there. Okay. And just hold that for a sec. All right, we want to stamp a sentiment on a half inch strip of paper, okay? Oh, you know what, that's not half an inch. Looks like three quarters of an inch. I want half an inch. So let me put this in here. There's half an inch. Oh yeah. I was just going to cut a wee bit off. Okay, stay still. And now while I have it there, I don't want it to move, okay? There we go. There's a half inch. And my sentiment. And I'm going to do this in black. And this is, have a fabulous Halloween. <laughs> so silly. And I'm just going to put that right there. Make sure that stays perfect, perfect. Remember, when you're stamping, always keep a moist towel so if you get ink on you, you can rub it off real quick. All right, next thing is we are going to put Have a Fabulous Halloween right there. But before we do that, let's get our cute little pumpkins made. I love these pumpkins. Where is my scrap for my pumpkins? Here it is. All right, now... Um, I'm going to do my outline in black. Oh, and I also want to check my punch. Uh, which direction do I want to stamp this so that when um, I put it in the punch, I get a pumpkin. All right, so right there. Um, that'll be good. One more. We're going to do two of them. There we are. And now we're going to take our colored ink and we're going to stamp off the, the kiss method. Okay, hold on. Let me grab some scrap paper. Okay. 
and we're going to take our little pumpkin here okay make sure i get the correct side side up okay the the bumps are bigger and further apart that goes on the bottom all right so i'm going to stamp off once Ooh, i don't know that's kind of light Hmm. I don't know if I want to stamp off. Oh, okay. Excuse my hair. <laughs> it's like I have to see. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so I did stamp off. I wanted a very light colored pumpkin. I didn't want a dark pumpkin. Kind of, you know, those Cinderella pumpkins. I love those. All right, now let's do a gray one. We need to clean our stamp off. Always looking for things. You think I'd be more prepared as many Facebook lives I do with you all. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now let's get smoky slate. Um, don't usually see gray pumpkins. And this one I definitely want to stamp off because, um, yeah, that's too dark of a pumpkin. Okay, and once again, excuse my hair. There we go. Perfect. So I have cute, two cute, very light colored pumpkins. Now for the faces. This is so fun. So I, there's, there's, um, let's see, let me pull the box out. So there's uh, multiple faces. You have this cute one, which I'm going to use. You have a kitty cat one. Of course, that goes with the cat, but you could have a kitty cat pumpkin. Uh, this funny looking one with the big eyes. This one with the, sh uh, the mouth is uh, closed, uh, sewn shut. Um, and here's this cute little ghost with the little hands. But like I said, th they can go on any of them. Oh, and here's uh, two eyes. Is there a mouth? There's a dot. I don't really see a mouth that goes with those eyes. But anyways, yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun set. So we're going to come over here. And, and I'm going to kind of put them on sideways. Not too sideways. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And then this one. Perfect. Let me pull them up closer so you can see them. <laughs> oh, and now let me get my punch out. Come on. Oh, and you want to make sure that if you put this in the punch, you don't want to punch that one uh, with one of the, because it has multiple punches. So you want to be careful of that also. <laughs> and then I'm going to trim all this off so I can get that in there again. Mm. Come on. <laughs> you went flying all the way across my craft room floor. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go, little pumpkin? No the drawer, did you? Oh, snap. There it is. Wow, it went all the way over here. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Little guy. All right, well, where's the other one? Here's the other one. Whew. Okay, let's put this together. So we have our sentiment here. And... Um, did I, yeah, I'm going to glue this flat on there and then put the little pumpkins up on dimensionals. <laughs> Everybody says, cute, cute. Oh, it is. It's so fun. I love making Halloween stuff. Did I tell you I was an October baby? <laughs> oh. Okay, and now some dimensionals. There we go. Les says, uh, "Say, so do you say Les Tony? Les, Les Tony? Uh, she said her son's an October baby too. Yes. And my, oh gosh, I can't even remember which number he is. My, uh, uh, one of my grandsons <laughs> is 
in October, baby. We have eight grandchildren. That's getting where I can't remember. Again, I'm just going to trim this off simple. You could get out a fancy trimmer and do something on the ends, but I thought that's enough. All right, now we've got this part done. Let's get our envelope punch out again. And we're going to center that and attach it right there, okay? Actually, I'm going to pull it down a little bit because I don't want the that to be right on the edge. All right, we're gonna put it right there. And also, you do not wanna put any adhesive down here because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. So just put it up here. All right, there we go. And then move it around a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you the final step and that is with these Velcro dots. So these are so fun when you're making little treat boxes and things. Okay, and so this is the soft fuzzy side. And so I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, and now get the other side, the little loop side. And what I'm gonna do here is stick the loop side on the fuzzy side. Okay, Ooh. come on, stay, it's stuck to my nail. Ah, and now close it. If you try to stick it here and match it up, it's so hard. So here we go, we're just gonna close it. And now, it just opens real easy. Isn't that great? It's just a simple, light little Velcro. And let's put some candy in here. All right, so my sister and I, my sister's diabetic and I am on a keto diet. So I got some of these sugar-free candies to put in here. There we go. So happy Halloween, whoops. Let's... Yeah, and close it. Ta-da! And you have <laughs> a little Halloween envelope treat uh, bag uh, gift box thing. Great! Oh, I hope you all enjoyed this. And um, remember, if you make one of these, go to our private Facebook group, Christina's Creative Stampers. And if you're not a member of the group, up on the Facebook page, there's a visit the group button. Go over there, answer the questions, and then I will um, approve you and let you in. And put a picture of your envelope pouch, okay? It doesn't have to be Halloween. Um, birthday, Christmas, I mean, this that's what's so fun about these, um, f uh, the fold things is that you can use them for anything. <laughs> I just love it. It's just something to put a little gift in. All right. You all have a great weekend. Don't forget we are having an amazing joining se uh, special right now. So if that's something you might be interested in, please reach out to me. Um, you can even call me. My number is everywhere. It's on my blog and on my uh, shop everywhere. Have a great weekend, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>